Well, today is another rainy, messy day. I sure had planned to split bees today, but I don't think the weather's going to cooperate. I asked the bees earlier. They said, you bother me today, we're going to mess you up. And I believe them. Hi. Well, another rainy floor today. So I'm between showers at the moment, but that's not going to last. And this isn't the kind of day to do my be splitting that I was hoping to do. So today I'm going to do a little bit of woodworking, a little bit of housekeeping. I'm going to show you a couple things, show you how I make my bottoms, the some of the ways I make my bottoms, and we'll do some tops. But man, it is a kind of a messy day. There's still bees flying around a little bit. There's some bees huddled in this swarm trap. Not the most happy of campers though. Oh, they found a little spot where they can get in and out up at the top too. All right. Okay, I'll try this with the mic this time, see how it goes. Now, this is one of those nukes that we built the other day. And to make my bottom the way I'm doing it right now, I'm gonna show you what I did. First of all, I cut some, cut some wood up. Now this is just furring strips. You can get this fairly cheap at the big box stores, Lowe's, Home Depot's. So I cut that to 18 inches. I cut two of them, 18 inches and two of them at eight and a half inches. You'll see how we do this. So I just set this up like this. Try and get it as evenly set up in here as I can. Okay. Now, this is all I got left to my uh, roll of uh, what eighth inch hi hardware cloth. I'm going to have to get some more pretty soon. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to mark it real quick. Never seems to go quite straight somehow. So you can cut this stuff with scissors. And um, so let's do that real quick. Set this aside for now. Now, this doesn't have to be super precise or anything. I've asked the bees, they say they don't mind. And what I'm going to do is once I have it lined up fairly straight, I'm going to staple it up and try to keep those jagged edges from sticking out where they'll poke me.
Okay, so now just cut this little trim off. If you saw my last video, this is a good uh, a good way to have a little bit of scrap left over to make your uh, robbing screens and handy if you need to close off an entrance or something. So handy little scrap. Okay, so. I've got this nuke box and you notice this is the one I made in a previous video. It's got the two by eight inch ends and then just plywood, three quarter inch plywood uh, sides. And what I'm gonna do is turn this upside down. So this is the bottom side. So. Okay, now, I've cut two more pieces off my furring strip. These are different. Instead of having them, uh, the shorter ones, these are a little bit longer. So these pieces here are gonna be 21 inches long. See? And so I have two of these. And then I, uh, I cut just a little piece of scrap that's gonna fit right back in here. put it about there and I have a little short one right here and that'll be for my entrance okay so now get my brad nailer these little Harbor Freight brad nailers are great I love it you always have to put a drop of oil in there first And if you do that, these things will last you a pretty good long time. And um, let's see. I'm using inch and a quarter brad nails and I don't think these will go all the way into the wood at the bottom of my nuke box. I don't think. Let's see. Okay. Everything's lined up. Ah. <laughs> it's always better to turn the air on. Notice I didn't glue this or anything. Okay. So I've got this little piece here that goes across. And this is just kind of to um, contain it, you know, so Anyways, let me get my uh, self back in the mode here. Okay, so that's basically my bottom. 
not my bottom here. This is my bottom. So what I'll do is I will paint it, but it's got an entrance here. And once it's painted, what I like to do is just nail it or screw it down into the board with four spots. And that secures it pretty well. And that turns this nuke into a real versatile thing. Now, I have a funny relationship with the nukes. I, um, I don't like screen bottom boards for my 10 frame hives. But for my nukes, these are gonna be mating. I'm building queens. I'm building, you know, groups of small bees. So this is a good way to go. So that's, that's one bottom done. I'll do some more later. Want to do some tops? <laughs> okay, so to make the tops for my nuke boards, I've um, taken some plywood and I've cut it to 21 and an eighth by 10, 10 inches wide. And so I'm just going to, um, now I take these things here. This is not super critical, but this is just a 3 8 by 3 8 inch I cut on my table saw. And so I'm going to line it up here. Okay. So now I've got my glate, my little glue pot here. Like I've told you before, I love this thing. Now I'm gonna pop this in with my brad nailer. These nails may go through this, but it'll be alright, I'll take them off. The main point to the brad nails. Ooh, man, that screw just went right out the side. Is basically just to um, hold it down while it dries, but I'll put a few in. You always want to make sure your fingers are well away from where those staple where those nails go because they will hurt you. Now, <laughs> almost all these brad nails have come out through the sides. And that's, that could hurt you, but it's not a big problem to fix. So I'm gonna fix it right now. So my uh, Harbor Freight angle grinder, I've just got a, um, a metal cutting blade in it.
Okay, so that's most of the way. Actually, I'm gonna put this down on the ground. Now you see how that fits. Okay, I just uh, eyeball this. There's no real science to it. But the drill's got a lot of torque, so you gotta kinda watch out for it. Just like that. Okay, so anyway, when you take these um, these rings out after you take your hole saw, what I do is I just attach them to a little scrap of wood like that, and then they make a real nice um, a real nice cover for uh, see. So that's how I do it. Well, I'm gonna finish up a bunch of these tops, get them set up later on, I'll paint them. This is your rainy day, Bruce. Wish I was out splitting bees. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later.